No, hold on. Hold on there. You guys, you might know it. I'm sure everybody in the room knows it by now because you're such big Miraculous fans. But the gentleman on the microphone who's representing the Yankees for some reason <laughs> is Mr. Jeremy Zag, the man. So there he is, right? And he is here because he loves to see how the fans are responding to this show. It's unbelievable. I will say, since we have already done Anime Expo, we did San Diego Comic Con, this is our third convention, and he does not like to repeat himself. So Jeremy said, for this convention, all we're going to do is continue to give sneak peeks of season two and three, some specials, and some other content as well, which we will be unveiling. But I will do something that I've made in San Diego, because I, I will still give toys today. You're giving toys out to everybody! Yes. Everybody gets a toy! It's like Oprah and Ellen! <laughs> or Phil Donahue. No, not like Phil Donahue. Okay, so alright, so there we have, we have Nathaniel, but hold on, I want to introduce you to another artist and creator have all of the background, all the worlds that we see internally and externally. Go ahead and flip that card, we're ready? Yep. What, we're doing a sneak peek first? Okay, so hold on, wait a second, so hold on. All right, so. No comments. I won't give any comments, any details, because Thomas is not here. Right. Respect for the director of the show. We will just show you that, and you have to. Are they allowed to film this, Jeremy? Can they take a picture? Just take pictures. All right, give them one second, because they got to load up their phones. Give them one second. They're going to load up. Now, remember, anything that you're going to post, please, for Jeremy's sake, for Kevin's sake, hashtag Zag Heroes, so that we can see your amazing pictures. Guess what? We may even select you as contest winners that we have online. So take pictures and hashtag Zag Heroes. All right, go ahead. Let's see what this looks like. New characters, huh? For the first time ever, revealing the most detailed versions that we have that may give some indication of where we're going in seasons two and three. Uh huh. But it's only going to stay up for a little bit longer. Really feel. Oh my! Yeah. It's only going to stay up there for just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer, you guys. And then it's gone for the rest of the. Oh my! There she is again. We're full we went backwards and uh, get ready for... You ready for the next one? Let me hear you. Ready for the next one? Yeah. Now, doesn't that look like a powerful trio, huh? A triad of... Oh, who is that? Style Some new villain. Some new villain. Some new villain, huh? Style queen, new villain. Ooh, look at that transformation sequence she's going to be going through. Amazing. What is the collector? That's new. Who is the collector? We'll never know. No collector. Wait until. But he looks bad. Oh! Wait a minute. I see peacock feathers. I see peacock feathers. What was that? We'll never know. We're not going backwards anymore. What are those? Oh! Oh! We have Jerome here. Jerome, please rise. Give a little hello. Everybody give a nice big round of applause to Jerome. Now, all of the worlds that you've seen so far in season one, the interiors as well as the exteriors, the beautiful landscapes of Paris. You love it? Do you love it? What a gorgeous, beautiful international show, right? And, so and he definitely is the one behind. He is the one behind really, it. Really, So I will show you how it works with some of artworks. Into the color. Oh, we're gonna black take you through white. a process, a little bit of the black, black and white sketch. Where everything starts. Huh? This is where it all started, right? And all drawn by Jerome, which is here. Jerome does all of it, you guys. All the artwork that you're seeing here. This is definitely, if you are an artist, 
obviously if you're a fan of the show, but if you're also an artist and want to pursue a world of art, creation, design, Jerome is definitely a signature and autograph you're going to want to get. Look how beautiful the sun coming in on those baguettes. I can smell that bread. Oh my gosh, is that Marinette's room? Some Some stuff. Some Some stuff in here is for new seasons. But what? Oh. So new season design. Very nice. And he's also the designer of the webisode backgrounds. So uh, we revealed some webisode backgrounds today. So okay. actually, you're just, what you're saying, Jeremy, is that Jerome is the one who's created this universe, everything that we see and they live the backgrounds, in. Backgrounds, yes. It's all him. Yeah, all Jerome. All Jerome. The head of design. Amazing. Amazing. Come on, guys. The whole team behind him, but yeah. he's the head of design. He's the head. And we are missing, of course, Thomas Truc, which is not here with us today. As, as long as we also miss Sebastian Thibodeau, which is the head of writing, and all the writing team, because we have a really uh, an amazing creative team. Yeah. Yeah. They cannot be here. But they're in France. Yes. Right? They're in France. They're working. They want the season two and three. So we they, also, oh, yeah. they also want to make sure that they see your videos that you're probably going to post on YouTube. So remember to hashtag all this stuff for Zag Hero so we can share it with them. All right. Look how beautiful. Oh. This is a sneak peek that you guys are only seeing here. We're not going to put this up for a while. All right. Now, what I want to bring to your attention, can, can Jeremy, please tell me what it says on the bottom. What does it say on the bottom so everyone can May 2017. This is the date when season two and three will be on I mean season two will be on here. We are airing, it is confirmed in May of 2017, you guys. You don't have to ask anymore, you don't have to question about it. It is happening. Pound it! It is happening! <laughs> and, and you know we also work very hard to make something happen with all the broadcasters, all the networks, all the team. And even new team, because we are doing something new with music inside. And I just want to confirm to everybody today that the Christmas special is confirmed for this year. This year? <laughs> Not just a regular episode. Yeah, I, from what I understand, there will be musical numbers inside this special new song. Can you guys handle that? And Ezra will be one of the singers. That's right. That's right, because I'm going to make myself sing. Thank you, my sister. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not, I, I, if Jeremy wants me to sing, you're darn straight I'm going to sing. But you don't really want to hear me. We're, are we still doing a sing-along? Are we doing a sing-along of the opening credits song? Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? Do you guys ready? I mean, now that you just found out that season two and three are confirmed, now that you found out that there's going to be a confirmed Christmas special this year, don't you think it's time for us to sing the theme song all together? Yeah. All right. Here we go. We got the word. You got to sing it loud and proud. Come on. Here it is.
You want to give out toys now? You guys want toys now? Yeah! All right, now listen, don't get distracted by how amazing Zag is, because it's really hard. Zag is so amazing, you're going to be so distracted. But we are going to continue to tell you more information while we are handing out your toys. Don't open them up and make a mess. There's little pieces in there you don't want to lose. I mean, they are so cute. You're going to love these toys. Who am I? It's huge. You're going to love them. Okay. They're made in China. Okay, no, I'm kidding. I don't know. It's a joke. Don't worry. It's all just humor. It's fine. It's my life. <laughs> All right, so check out what we have. I want to introduce to you Mr. Kevin Marciano right here. Give it up for Kevin, everybody. Kevin is a producer at Zag, but he is also our head of our digital team in charge of our webisodes and the content they're in. Take it away, Kevin. So I know you're all excited for seasons two, but May 2017 still kind of sounds far away. And I know that, do you want to see more Miraculous? Yeah. All right, so we're creating something pretty special for everyone. We're creating 52 webisodes that are going to be done in a totally unique style with this amazing art team directing it uh, and unique stories. It's going to explore the daily life of Marinette, uh, see the city of Paris, and as you can see, it's done in a very like 2D kawaii style. Uh, nice lingo. Uh, shout out to Angie. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, she just joined us on our design team, super talented. Um, so we have a special YouTube. Yeah, Angie Nazca, at Angie Nazca, if anyone. She's amazing, and she's the head of art on the uh, website. And uh, so what we have here is like, this is a, an interpretation of Marinette's room. Uh, oh, cute. What do you guys think? Do you think she's cute? Yeah, look how cute she is. Um, yeah, so these webisodes are going to be coming out in about one month uh, on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Miraculous Ladybug. All of you should subscribe because there's also going to be tons of new content, behind the scenes, toy unboxings, ex very exclusive stuff, music, uh, we're doing more collaborations with Laura Murano. Uh, so there's a lot of exciting stuff that's going to be rolled out on the YouTube channel. Now I will say this, being the voiceover director, I know, probably shouldn't say it, Kevin, so I'm going to blow it, but I already recorded about seven of those webisodes, about those very special content that he's talking about. So there's already seven that have been recorded, and I know that I'm giving something away that I shouldn't, oh, no. but I just received an email from Kevin with a packet of scripts in there for us to be recording within the next few weeks. So there's going to be so much new content on these webs. You, these webs. On these webisodes, you guys have got to sign up and subscribe yeah. to the YouTube we channel. We love hearing from our fans, so if you ever have any ideas, or you want to see any stories, or you want to like explore uh, the life of any character in particular, email us. On our website, we have a, uh, an address, and just, you can email us any of your creative ideas. We love collaborating with our fans. Yeah, it is very rare that you're going to find an artistic team that actually is open up to receiving and incorporating Fan suggestions. Usually, you, that's a whole universe. No ideas, but requests. But that? No ideas, but re requests. Right, requests, requests, of course. Yes, all right. So look how beautiful that artwork is. We're going to have a great time watching all of those webisodes. And look how cute. Look at the eyes on her, you guys. What character do you want to see in the webisodes most? Shout them out. Does anyone have an interest in seeing an Adrian Marinette love story in the webisode? Okay, would anyone have an interest in seeing a Adrian Ladybug love story? Yes! Wow! That, that sounds pretty popular, alright. How easy is that? Miraculous Ladybug. That is going to be it, you guys. We're still handing out those toys. We have plenty to make sure everyone has one, so there doesn't need to be any kind of promotion about getting one or not. We brought plenty for everybody here to get one. All right, so now, you guys, speaking of toys, we do have some new toys that are coming your way. Have you guys been seeing any of the toys out there? Has anyone purchased any of the toys yet? Round of applause. Round of applause. 
I know I have a flag and I have a tiki plushie at home. Oh, there's a flag right here. Look how cute. I mean, come on. Right? Now, way back at Anime Expo, we were just talking about this. And then a couple of weeks later, they were already in the store. And somebody from Bandai is here now with us. And she's here. Come on, stand up. She worked on the plush. Come on, give a big round of applause. Stand up. And you're filming on your phone. Are you just so excited? Yeah, yeah. It's like sending more stuff. So do you guys want to see some of our new toys that are coming out? Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh yeah. So we have with our audience. We have a brilliant, a brilliant toy innovation by Pascal. Uh, producer on the show, uh, and uh, if you guys ever wanted to collect a Lucky Charm bracelet or maybe share secret messages uh, with uh, special bees, can you know, uh, so if we can, you can actually invent your own Lucky Charm. Hello. And uh, so it's going to be, there's going to be a whole collectability aspect to it. They're super cool, very fashionable, very, very cute. Uh, and you can mix and match, you can trade with friends. Certain uh, jewels are going to be more exclusive than others, and you're going like, to like them. Uh, and there's also uh, a hidden message aspect to it. Uh, you, you'll be able to, when you put them in your hand, they'll be able to reveal a secret message. <gasps> Wait a minute, hold on a second. You mean those charms, when they, when they feel the heat of your hand, you'll see a secret message so you come out? the name of your crush. You guys! That's amazing! It's pretty neat. It's a brilliant toy in this. So yeah, you can get really creative with it. You can customize it, make it very personal. So like for instance, I could write the name Adrian and those beads out, put them here on my wrist. When I get really excited and my temperature goes up because I think about Adrian, I look down at my wrist and it says, Adrian, because I'm all hot and bothered. Is that how that works? Exactly. Wow! Awesome! Okay, I get it now. Uh, so we're oh. really excited about this. Are you guys excited? Would you? Yeah. Who would wear a miraculous bracelet? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. The lucky charm. That's it. Zag World. What is Zag World? So Zag World is going to be an online community where everyone can engage with one another. All the miraculous from around the world can share their cosplay, their fan art. There's going to be games. Uh, digital comic books created by our art team at Tama Astro that will like extend on the narratives within the show. Uh, it's going to be really a world, like you're going to you're gonna create an avatar, and cre uh, it's going to be a very immersive experience to bring you into the miraculous universe. I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, so Jeremy was just clarifying that uh, the, the digital comic books will be different than the one that Action Labs are producing, which are also very cool. <laughs> Actually, we have Brian from Action Labs. You guys, give it up for Brian from Action Labs, who's here right now. Stand up, Brian. Brian has an incredible group up there. Not only do we have his, uh, his lady, miraculous ladybug line up there, but also incredible artists, other comics as well. I encourage you to support the artists yeah. that are up there. It is a great job. Awesome, miraculous comic books there right now. All of you should go by booth for 3044. I will say this as a shameless plug, I guess, because when I saw it, I was like, what is that thing? There is a miraculous card game that I had no idea about. This is special here at this convention, so I think you all should go there and get this, because we just started playing it right there at the booth. And it's amazing. If you guys like playing card games, right? Power, switching things up, trying to dominate, saving all of Paris, get the card game. And then maybe we'll play later. So, we have a whole wide range of products for kids, and we can see here, you know, we have fans ranging in a very wide range of ages. And so we're actually creating a whole new line of products for adults called Zag Luxury. And you can actually go to zagluxury.com right now and pre-order some of this really fashionable, cool merch. I think you didn't know what Miraculous was, it's still very stylish, very cool. Uh, and it's, uh, we, we, we'll show some stuff here. Uh, you can get like, you know, the Lucky Charm, uh, the Miraculous, the ring and the earrings. It's really beautiful quality jewelry. Okay. We don't have any more pictures, but I'm telling you, go to zagluxury.com, you will not be disappointed. I went to zagluxury.com before I came to the convention today. It's got these beautiful sweaters and hoodies 
and, yeah. and you know, all different options for you yeah, to have your ready relationship by the holidays. Yeah, they're really, really big. Oh, wait a second. What's that? Yeah, yeah, but look, um, first of all, first of all, that's how you would hashtag Zach Heroes, H-E-R-O-E-Z. Let's also hashtag Miraculous Ladybug. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's already a lot of hashtag Miraculous Ladybug, and we want to just keep building on that, so let's do both of those. I'm sure you guys already have that in your phone, right? It just sort of pops up when you hit hashtag M. So keep those rolling on all your pictures as well. But look at all those incredible other shows that are going to be coming your way soon from Zag Heroes, you guys. Give it up for Jeremy Zag and his artistic creative team. We only have, we only have eight minutes left. That's it. And for the last two minutes, which means we really only have six minutes, the last two minutes, I want to make sure that we do the opening song again, karaoke style, but I also want to invite all of those that want to dance to it in front here at our little mosh pit because we want to see our costume characters and our miraculous fans get up here and all have a party and sing together. But while we still have six minutes left, Six minutes left. We are going to take your questions. So who has a question that they would like to ask? Yes, come on down here, Holly Quinn. Hurry up. Here we go. Here we go. Got it. What's your question? So I actually went to the Action Lab studio yesterday, and I, me and a group of friends, and we went to see Thomas Stagecraft, and we found out he couldn't be there. We understood, but we also heard that he was stressed, and we wanted to know if there any email address or anything we could send something to him. I saw some fans on his Twitter have sent him stuff, so he knows his New York Comic Con fans love him, and we want him. Oh, that's so sweet. Want, so we appreciate it, even if he didn't make anything to me. Right. He was an excellent, excellent question, a lovely request. You know what? We'll just record the video message. Let's record a video message. Okay. You ready? All right, you guys, here's what we're going to do. We're going to leave a message here for Thomas, and then everybody, we're going to open it up to the crowd for you guys to cheer when we say, here's how much we miss and love, love you, and then you guys can go ahead and cheer for that, all right? So go ahead. What's your name? Mr. Bowen. We love New York Comic Con. We love you, Thomas. We're so happy for what you've created. Please, please keep doing you. Keep doing everything that you do. We love you. And everyone here in New York Comic Con, thank you. Yes, come on, stand up. Ooh, I like what you've got going on here. Nice cosplay. Yeah, like, um, is there anything about the Columbus that is going to be like revealed, like maybe like past Cat Noir and past Ladybugs that are coming? Um, do we have any like spoilers? Anything that you can I will say there will be episodes completely dedicated to the Columbus, where we will wow. just follow TDNY for the other ones. Pretty cool. Uh, and we're going to make special episodes on new seasons. Just about Quavis. Really? All right, so we're gonna have full episodes as well as well as Quavis. Amazing! That's no, fantastic. Well, well. Thank you, Jeremy. Are we doing it? Yes, come quick. Here, I'll meet you halfway. Will we see more Sabrina alongside Chloe? Oh, Sabrina and Chloe together. Yeah, there definitely will be uh, Sabrina and Chloe will be. Yeah. Well, where you find Chloe, Sabrina is pretty close at hand. And I'll tell you, the actress who does Chloe and the actress who does Sabrina, don't they do a fantastic job with those voices? They are so, so cute. I saw a hand over here. Did it go in? Oh, yes. Do you have any details on, um, like, stuff regarding redemption arcs, like, for characters like Chloe? You know, a redemption arc for her? Right, so that she can kind of, you know, get her own, right? So Chloe doesn't Whoa. sort of get... Twisted up so much, but she gets one her redemption. Of our, one of our spoilers that we showed a little earlier kind of hinted at something like There that. was! It had something to do, let me see, I, I remember it yellow. Much detail, but huh. You won't be disappointed is what we're trying to imply. Uh-huh. And another question, yes? Are we ever going to learn about what happened with Adrian's mom, perhaps? Oh, you know what? This is our third Comic Con. And that is a question that has come up in all three conventions. Uh huh. So you will know everything about it on the Christmas special. Oh, oh, what a time to reveal! Are we going to see more of Julika and Rose? Are we seeing more Julika and Rose? By the way, well, hold on. I just want you. Oh, go ahead, no, no, go ahead too. I just want to say maybe. 
Yeah, maybe. Now, most recently, we saw the Reflecta episode. Did anybody see that on Nickelodeon? That was Julika's episode, right? Because she was always out of those class photos and stuff. I find her, she is definitely one of my top characters of, the, of her classmates, is Julika. And Julika and Rose, just inside information, just for you guys, voiced by the same actor. Does both voices. That's Erin Fitzgerald. She's amazing. She does an amazing job with both of those characters. Yes, come on down quickly, Anna. Here we go. I think this is our last question, and then we will... Here we go. Um, in future seasons, are there going to be any advancements in Marinette and Adrian's relationship? Advancements like, do they hook up? <laughs> if they start dating or something. Oh my gosh, Jeremy, next question? Oh my goodness, alright, do we have another Maybe question? We did, and maybe the next question. Maybe, we'll just go with the next question. Is there anyone in the back that I missed out because I don't want you to think? Oh, yes. Um, do we find anything out about Chloe's mom? Do we find anything out about Chloe's mother? Oh, Nathaniel says, oh yeah. Like he may have already got a character design in place already. Say it again on the microphone, Nathaniel. Say it again. Oh yeah. Say it again. <laughs> wow, so sexy, so French. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so I don't want to make this panel go over. Who did not get a toy yet? Everyone will love your toys. All right. Now, if you want to get autographs, which of course we encourage you. Of the toys. Of the toys. If you want autographs on Tanla's toys, we'll be doing autographs back at the Action Lab booth. And, of course, everyone who does not have a toy, you guys will get a toy. If not right now, then certainly on the way out. But let's do another singing of the, of the opening credits, of our karaoke version. And for those of you, I know you're shy, but guess what? If you're a Miraculous Ladybug fan, you are in a house of love right now. And we want you to set your inner awesomeness out. So come over here and dance with us as we sing. Get on up. Come on over here.